In previous videos, I explained when to print the value using dot then callback after you get from a page. There is one nice tip that I can give you to simplify this code. So imagine you're not using items from a fixture directly, instead you're using say fixture command. So you want to use this fixture in the test, for example. The easiest thing for you to avoid the pyramid of doom of callbacks is to use before each callback, because that's where you can load everything you need, right? Maybe even make some network calls to the backend, get all your va values and save them. And check this out. So I'm going to save it as items. Now, when I'm planning to use these items, I have to use function callback instead of error function expression in my test. When I use function, that gives me access to the test context. It comes from Mocha. I can use dot this. So if I want to now know how many items did I load from a picture, that I'm immediately available because the test runs after the before each callback fully finishes. So the items is set. So I can say scilog loaded. Okay, and I'll say this items length. Beautiful. Notice even though this data came from application or from Cypress command, we could immediately use its value because it's always set. Because the callback is fully executed by the time the test starts. Well, this executes before each test. Right, literally. So if you have multiple tests, it will load the same picture again and again, which might be weird. Now you might try using before, but that doesn't really work because the, the Alice's, right, which is a picture get loaded to Alice's, it gets reset. So if we try to use it you know, again, then the second time it's undefined. All Alice's are reset before each test. So that's why you use before each. But if you're making a call to the server, for example, you don't want to do it before each test. You want to do it maybe once. So here's what you do if you really want to use before once. You say let and let's say items. Right? So you prepare a variable to store this value. And because you want to use it right away, you have to use them. So you say items equals i. Perfect. Well, now instead of using that this context because you're no longer using analysis instead we're using a local closure variable you can say, just say items which is much better it's easier to understand and you can use error expressions again isn't this nice okay even better you can load it once and if you use that this like you had just in a second before each you can wrap the items with items so you loaded them once Maybe you load them from a server, maybe you set something up, maybe it's an expensive operation. You do it only once in spec before any test run. Then before each runs and the value is already set because the before has to fully finish, you grab those items and you set them as an alias. And now inside each test using a function expression, you can use this dot items. And even though those alias are reset, they are recreated before each test, but it's a very cheap operation. Just get an existing value from items variable and save it as an Alice.